Okay, let's have a look at the different types of menus there are and at the different places where we can put menus. Okay, this is my current uh, home page, my current landing page. And this, uh, this installation, I didn't install any sample data, came with this main menu and the home menu item. I can find those here under main menu. Let's say I want to create a new menu item. Let's say one for needle trees. And later one for leaf trees. Then I decide what this menu item will be called. And I decide what kind of menu it should be. Now there are different types of menus. And uh, probably most interesting at the moment are these article menus. If I click on article a, a list of options will show up and here I can list to all the archived articles to category blocks, category lists. I can create a link and if people click on that on, on this menu item they'll um, uh, create a new article uh, we, we could link to all the featured articles. That's how our home menu item works. But I could have different menu items. You know, one linking to featured articles in a specific category, for example. I could have a menu that links to all the categories or to a single article. So most interesting is probably single article and then maybe category block, a category list. Category list will just display a list of all the articles. Um, category block will display the article introductions, you know, up to that red line, uh, one by one. Uh, a, a bit like a block, you know, you, you see the latest thing on top and you can look at, at, at the items then. So let's say for testing things out, I want this to be a category list. And now I need to say what kind of category do I want to link to. And because this is the needle trees menu item, I want to link to needle trees. Um, and the rest, uh, I'll just leave that as it is. Save and close. And hopefully we'll have a new, if I refresh, we'll have a needle tree menu here. Yeah, And I click on it and I should get, yeah, a list of all my uh, needle tree articles. Okay, maybe not so exciting that it's written by the super user and the number of hits maybe isn't so important either. So just like what we did with the home menu item earlier, I can go to needle trees and I can change the list layout. Um, show author in list. No, I don't want that. And show the number of hits in the list. Not interesting. So let's save that. Refresh. Okay, yeah. So I just get a list of all the articles in this category. And yeah, we know from last time articles belong to a category and we can then use this category when we deal with menus for example. Okay let's create another menu item this time for leaf trees. Just to show the difference I want to link to a category block. I want leaf trees. Let's have a look first before we look at the layout options. Um, yeah, leave these. And I get a layout a bit like what we got on the on the home menu item. So let's go to leave these. Um, block layout. And I can I can change the setting. Uh, I could say I only want leading articles. Yeah, I, I, I don't want 
those into the articles, then it would be a bit like a blog where you just see one item followed by the next one. Uh, I could say I only want info articles. It, it, it really depends on how you want things. So let's say in this case I want up to uh, five leading articles. I don't want any info articles. I don't want any links. Pagination, we, all, we leave all of that. Let's have a look how it looks like, whether I like it. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we got one after the other. Good. <clears throat> okay, let's show you another type of menu item. Let's say I have a three of the month or three of the week or whatever it might be. Three of the month. And that's a single article. So in this case, I can point at a single article. And I can now pick which article I want to point at. So my three of the month. Here we got it. Save and close. Let's refresh the page. Three of the month, I click. And I get a link to this specific article. Okay. What other kind of articles are there? Sorry, what other kind of menu items are there? Um, we could display site configuration options, template options. We could display contacts, so you can create um, contact details as part of your CMS. Um, yeah, pe people who are responsible for your website, for example, or people working in your company, uh, you could link to those. You could link to uh, news feeds. You could link to a search form. Uh, that's a different type of search. Uh, we might talk about it another time. System link. So we, we could link to an external URL. Um, let's say uh, yeah, um, to your friend's uh, website, to your to your sister company's website, or whatever it might be. Um, you can put text onto articles. Uh, there could be a tag called three of the month. Or there could be a tag called, I don't know, endangered species. And uh, I could then create a menu that will link to all the endangered species tagged trees. Could link to uh, users of, of, of our CMS and a wrapper. Um, an iframe is, is basically a box that you display as part of your web page and in that box um, you display another website from another address um, but let's not talk about that okay th these are some of the options these are some of the types of menus um, you can display in Joomla now at the moment the menu is here I could display the menu somewhere else you know, at the top at the bottom, wherever I want. This depends on the template you are using. And we talk about templates another time, but let's let's just start having a look at where we place the menu. Let's go to Extensions, Templates. And here we can see the kind of templates we are using. Site templates are templates that influence the look of the front end. And administrator templates are uh, templates that uh, that uh, influence the look of the back end. But you know, I mean, I think usually everyone or most people will leave that on ISIS because you know it doesn't really matter how the back end looks like. But maybe you know, if you have a special kind of site, you want things being displayed in a different order. But usually that's fine. So at the moment we can see. The template we are using is called Protostar and we can have a preview of our template and if I go to options here 
I can enable the module position preview. Let's do that. Now I've got a little eye here. I can click and I get a preview of all the different module positions. I talk about modules in more details another time. But a module, but in, in the context of menus, these are the different areas where we can place the menu. So at the moment we've got this main menu and it's in position 7. Yeah. Only in this template will this area be called position 7. Another template might call this area something else or there might not even be a position in this area. So other suitable uh, positions for menus would for example be here position 1 or position footer. Okay. So if I want to change my menu, this is where I modify all the different menu items. This is if I click on the name of the menu. Um, but I could I could also have different menus. I could have one menu here, one menu here, one menu in the footer. Uh, in the footer, you could have I don't know how to find us and contact us and things like that. And yeah, here at the top I could have some other kind of menus. So if I go to menus manage, this is where I create new menus and each of the new menus could have new menu items. So I could create a menu for the footer here or one for position one. And if I go to extensions modules this is where I actually decide where the menus go. So we can see here main menu is in position 7 but that crumbs is in position 2 but that crumbs is this bit here where we see uh, where we are within the navigation of the page. Yeah. This is called uh, position 2. Yeah. Okay, Let's say I want to move main menu from position 7 to position 1. I click on main menu and I change this to position 1. Uh, you need to make sure you pick this the position you want in the correct template because all the templates you have installed will be listed here. But the one we are using is called Protostar. So I need position 1 in Protostar and position 1 in Protostar is also known as the navigation position. So let's save this and let's refresh the page and hopefully this menu will move to that area over there. And yes it did. But items are next to each other. Okay. Um, if you want to display items next to each other, you can do that with CSS styles. I don't want to go into too much um, details, but we mentioned a CSS at the beginning of the semester when we talked about HTML as well. So a CSS file, just a quick recap, is basically describing how certain bits of the web page should look like. And you, you can redefine existing uh, parts of your web page or you can create new th things and uh, we've got something here called uh, nav tabs for example. If I type space nav, nav for navigation tabs and if I save this page then it should hopefully yeah, look like this. That we've got tabs here at the top and there are navigation tabs. There are other um, there are other CSS navigation options available to you, um, but but this is just one that is I think quite uh, good looking and easy to use. Um, 